Good morning and welcome to Norris Dog Training Company. We are here with Fred and Louie. We're going to show you everything that Louie's learned while he's been here for his training. First we'll introduce the training equipment. Fred's got a standard six foot web training leash. He'll keep the majority of that leash in his right hand, which leaves his left hand free to make a correction, which is a simple tug and release. And Louie's been fit with his very own training collar, and we'll show you how to properly put that on and off. It's best if you keep that high up underneath his ears for optimal control. We're going to start off with healing, which is properly walking on a leash. And the command is Louie heal. And all the training takes place, obviously, on our left-hand side. And incorporated in our healing is an automatic sit. So whenever you stop moving your feet, Louie's been trained to sit automatically, so you can talk with either friends or a neighbor without him trying to jump or pull. Another automatic sit. And a good automatic sit. Next commands we're going to show you is our stay command. Fred will use his left hand about an inch or so from his muzzle and the one word firm command to stay. And your sit stays can last anywhere from about one to three minutes. Now you notice he broke that stay, he wanted to lay down so Fred just went right back, reiterated the command and went back to the six, end of the six foot training leash. So start out about one to three minutes, slowly increase the time frame as you guys get more comfortable. And as Fred walked around Louie for added distraction, he stayed in place. You saw him give Louie a little bit of praise. And it's important to encourage him as you're going through the training process. Keep your training sessions anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes per session. And then Fred again put him in another sit stay. And from here we can show you the recall or the come command. Which coming to you is always a good thing. He sat automatically. He's been trained to sit automatically when he returns back to you. And then he goes back to heel position. Okay. And Fred puts him in another sit stay. And you notice how Fred adjusts the tone of his voice during the training sessions. Come commands are a little bit higher pitched, a little bit more inviting. And your stay commands and your down commands are going to be a little bit firmer. Fred's going to heal him out of that. Another good automatic sit. Another nice automatic sit. That's, and it's okay, and you see how Fred will do that. Take a couple steps, make him sit, a couple steps, make him sit. Keeps him paying attention. Next commands that we're going to show you are the down commands. And we'll start with down from heel position. And again, Fred will use his left hand. And the one word firm command to down. He's a little nervous. You see it took him a second or two to go down, but he did. Your down commands, you can keep him in a down for a little bit longer than your sit commands. Anywhere from three to five minutes in your down stays. It's important to practice these inside and outside. All of your training should be practiced in both areas. Now Fred can return back to him and walk around Louis's left hand side and back up on, on his right. Another automatic set. Another down from heel position. And you can switch these commands up to keep them a little keep Louie a little bit more interested in the training. Fred called him from the down. Nice finish. I notice Louis not lagging behind or he's not pulling Fred. Should always stay equal to your left hand side. And the next command that we're going to show you is our down from a distance. And Fred will use his right hand for this command.
So you've seen the heel, sit, stay, down, and the come commands. These are going to be important for everyday life for Louie. We want to thank you for using Norris Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer. We look forward to seeing you very soon. Thank you again.